Musicians and Bars Getting Beer. I'm at the Horseshoe with Alan Snotty. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Tell us about Tommy Youngstein. Uh, well, it's uh, it started off as a Tom Petty, Bruce Springsteen, Neil Young cover band. Yeah. We only played those three, and now we've started doing classic records. So we've done uh, done Born in the USA here at the Horseshoe. We've done uh, Born oh, yeah. to Run the Horseshoe, and we're doing Born in the USA again at the Regent Theater in Oshawa on When's that uh, April 8th. That's on April 8th. Friday, April 8th. And you want to do a ticket giveaway on Toronto Rocks? Yeah. Oh, we appreciate that. So tell us what else you're up to. What's going on down south? I'm uh, heading down south tomorrow for uh, for a week to do some writing with uh, another band I'm in called Bellwoods. Uh, we had a single, I guess about a year ago on the radio called Live It Up that did, that did quite well. And then um, we have another one called Sin to Get Saved that's just out, um, featuring a guy called Ryan Cabrera from Los Angeles. That's our buddy. Um, I did my own EP, I guess, a couple of years ago, uh-huh. and it has um, six songs. And I want my pal from Sam Roberts is on it. Uh, Serena Ryder's on it. Guys from the Trues, uh, Sloan. A guy called Eric Amble, who's a guitar player from. From uh, originally from Chicago that I really liked, that played with um, played with Steve Earle for five or six years on a, on a few oh, Steve Earle records that I really like. Uh, so it's a good whatever you'd call Americana or uh, huh. alt country kind of record. Wow. So it's a kind of a mix of. Um, What's that one called? Stuff. The record is called uh, "Shot a Rhythm," which is a line from a John Hyatt song. If you like John Hyatt. Cool. Great. And that's available on your website? Uh, yeah, you can get on the website. It's on iTunes. It's, yeah. uh, you know, it's great. back of my car. Any, anyway, <laughs> happen to be. <laughs> These sunglasses are great. It makes it a lot easier to... You want to show people what you really look like? <laughs> Up to you. My, my friend would ask you Disturbing. what color underwear are you wearing, but I'm not asking. Oh, they're black. <laughs> black Calvin Klein. <laughs> that's, uh, that's for Kyla. Kyla does one of these kind of shows, too. Oh, yeah? Well, you can pass them on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more. Well, that Bellwoods record's finished. Yeah? With, uh, other than this song we're going to do. Um, I'd like to do another one of my own. Maybe down in... Um, maybe down when I'm in Nashville. It'd be cool to record it down there. So maybe I would... I'd like to go back again. And see who I can meet when I'm down there. Um... They turn stuff over so quick down there. It's it's everybody's so good that you can just go in for a few days and and, and, and bang it out. Um, what else? Any other uh, musicians you're uh, privileged to work with on this one? Uh, in Bellwoods is, is my my buddy uh, Morgan Cameron Ross, who's um, been around for a while. He's been in a band called uh, Birds of Wales as well, um, and we're just working with different Nashville songwriters. Uh, Right. Uh, and we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully we so come away with a, something. Sorry. So that's right in line with your influences? Uh, kind, of, kind of southern rock sort of? Uh, that one's country. a bit more, how you would describe it. It's a bit It's a bit more, it's more pop, but it still has sort of folk influences that songs have. A lot of vocal harmonies, uh, ban- even banjo and, and, you know, percussive things, yeah. sort of real instruments as well as is what you would, um, I guess, attribute to pop music, you know, keyboards and synthesizers and things like that. And so uh, where else do you like to play around town? I like playing here. The Horseshoe's great. Yeah. Um, Rivoli Next Door is a great sure. venue. Sure um, yeah. Cameron House down the road is a good place. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, you know, actually, we're going to do... Um, I've already spoken to the Horseshoe about doing... A, we're going to do an all-Petty, all-Tom Petty night here. The best of Tom Petty. Uh, I think we're going to do that in July or something like that. Maybe around the Labor Day weekend or something. Um, so the band, Tommy Youngstein, is Tom Petty, Neil Young, Tommy Youngstein. So the name Tommy Youngstein, that's where that comes from. Do you so, feature, yeah, do you feature any other players while you're, while you're doing that? Or is it... Uh... Um, Sometimes it's similar to the guys that played on, on my record. So from time to time, it's depending on who's available. It's the guy that plays drums plays with uh, Sam Roberts. A couple of the keys players are from uh, the Trues and Sloan. Um, guitar players from a guy called Kevin Kane, who's in the uh, Grapes of Wrath. Um, 
great singer called Joan Smith, who used to be in a band called uh, Cowbell, Oklahoma, plays in a band called uh, Littlefoot Longfoot now. Oh, yeah. Who else? Really good horn, three-piece horn section. Um, so yeah, it's a big band. It's a big, big, you know, big sound on stage. Some of the songs are, you know, don't have horns, so they'll add horns or they'll add. It's a, it's a big, you know, a big sound for for all the stuff that sometimes maybe on a record might be, you know, smaller sounding or a smaller arrangement. That's cool. And uh, so. Do you want to tell us about your history? How'd you get into uh, the business? You say you're from Montreal. Yeah, I'm originally from Montreal. Um, I don't remember how I got in. I just probably just started playing guitar in a, in a band. I used to go down. There used to be a blues jam in Montreal with a guy called Stephen Barry, who was a, sort of a Montreal fixture. He had a band. You could go and jam with him. So I used to just go down, take the bus down. And, when I was, I don't think I probably should even have been in the bar, <laughs> but I just went and, and uh, played along and, and then started playing. I, then I, I played in a band called um, a band called Stars that were a, a band originally, I think, from Toronto, but then were based in Montreal. So I, I toured with them. They did a couple of worldwide tours um, between about, I guess, 2007 till about 2012. So I played a lot with them. That was kind of what we would call indie. Indie music, sure. um, so that was good. So it's a, a big mix of uh, stuff. It's kind of well, we got muscled out of. Jo this was a, this was in New York once. We got the guy that was driving our bus used to drive Morrissey's bus or Morrissey's band's bus. Morrissey doesn't go on the bus. <laughs> so he said we can get you Morrissey tickets. So we all went to see Morrissey, and then we got. We're in the dressing room afterwards, and Morrison comes in. He's got the uh, he's got the track suit unzipped down to the belt buckle, and he's got the chains and all this. And whoever there was a girl with us, and she decided she was going to go talk oh, to him. So she went over and spoke to him, and a couple of the guys got her, and just took her, took her away. And then we started mouthing, calling him an asshole. Anyway, then we got thrown out. So that's the only. That's really the story. Where was that? It was at the. Um, it was in New York City. I can't remember the name of that venue. It's right. It's right in Times Square, just off Times Square. It's a big, big. Uh, it's like a big cavernous place. Big high, three or four tiers. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, not the not the Bowery. Anyway, I can't remember. That's big so place. Um, yeah. So anyway, we're not in, we're not in with Morrissey. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you get to know the guys in uh, Sam Roberts and such? Uh, I've been friends with Josh, the guy that plays drums. It's his birthday today, actually. 35. Happy birthday, Josh. Happy birthday. Um, this one from the TTC, is uh, I met Josh, oh God, about 10 years ago, before any, before either of us played in any any bands. So I've just known him for, for ages. Yeah, so he's a nice guy. Good drummer. He's one of the best drummers, uh, I would say. The best, drummer, best drummers in the country. Wow. Just ask him, he'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we did a thing um, for March. Uh, it wasn't for March of Dimes. It was through them, though. It was at the, it was with Fred Penner um, the other week at the Berkeley Church. Oh, cool. uh, it was for music therapy, like people with Alzheimer's, and sort of how music kind of they use it as a therapeutic thing. Uh, so yeah, so that was kind of strange having Fred Penner at my apartment. <laughs> And uh, you've got a Roddy Piper star. Yeah, I met I met Roddy Piper here uh, at a, a comedy club through a friend, and um, I just kind of was talking to him at the at the at the gig, and, and he just sort of said, "If you're ever in, uh, well, he just died recently, but he said if you're ever in if you're ever in Portland or you're ever in Los Angeles, just give me a call." So, so he, we swapped numbers, and then that that night when I got home. I went to bed, and I think about four or five in the morning, my, my phone rang, and I picked up the phone, and I said, I'm hello, and he said, hey, champ, how's it going? I said, good, good. He says, Rod, I'm at the airport. He said, what are you doing? I said, I'm in bed. It's 4.30 in the morning. He goes, oh, sorry. So I, I hung up, and then two, three minutes later, he calls back and said, I just wanted to apologize for waking you up. He said, that wasn't my, and I said, you just and woke me up again. <laughs> they said, I'm so sorry. Anyway, 
he's into music, and uh, they were. They were there's, I think it's still in the works, but there was, someone was doing a documentary on him, and he wanted a sort of a Roddy Piper themed song. So I wrote this song, and then when he was in town, he added a little uh, some vocal. He called it vocals, but it was just more screaming. Uh, and it's a song called uh, "Off the Top Rope." which is uh, it's on YouTube that's great and uh, we did another one uh, a Terry Fox song called uh, a song for a song for Terry which is a good not a bad with song. Roddy? yeah he sings on that too. oh really so sort of amazing. talks it's a conversational style of singing sort of like a Lou Reed esque <laughs> anyway oh my god I don't know maybe Tanya injected a little uh energy into this conversation but it just got really fun so. yeah <laughs> so, well done anyway so uh, anything else you want to say before we close up um I don't know that, no, thanks for asking me and yeah April 8th at the uh, region I think it's tickets tickets.regiontheater.ca we work with a, uh, a, a company called uh, Born Rebels oh, okay. which is a good company out of uh, uh, Toronto um they do. Uh, they do us. They do, they have a great, um, great Stone CCR uh, band right. as well. Um, yeah. So that's what we're so check them out. Too. It's all on Facebook. It's all on Facebook. Tommy Youngstein, Born Rebels, AlanSnotty.com, and uh, Facebook Bellwoods. It's all on there. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be sure and include all the links. Huh? I'd yeah. Like to do that. So uh, thanks for being on the show. It's Musicians in Bars Getting Beer. Cheers, Alan. Thank you.